Hello again, everybody. Welcome back to Fallout 4. I am Mental Fox, and I thank you for joining me. We're here in the Hotel Rexford, just kind of exploring, doing a little bit of looking around. We already looked uh, on that side of the building. We actually rented a room. We'll go up and check out the room here in just a minute. Talk to this dude here. And now we're just going to kind of walk around and check the place out. Oh, there's a basement. Some really steep steps going down. Let's go check it out. Oh, what is this place? Oh, there's a guy sleeping down here. Fred Allen's Terminal. Fred Allen. What's going on down here, Fred? Ooh, Fred Allen's password. I'm going to take it. I have Fred Allen's password now. Hmm. So I can unlock it using Fred Allen's password, but Fred Allen is lying right there. What time of day is it, anyway? Well, according to the data tab, it's 6.18 a.m., isn't it time for you to get up and leave this room, Fred Allen? He's got a chemistry station. Chem box. Somebody's sweeping or something somewhere. Okay, we found the uh, restroom here. I think that sweeping is coming from upstairs. The the floors and ceilings are very thin here, apparently. Fridge door. Oh, what the? Nick, what are you doing? What the hell are you doing, Nick? What the hell is this guy doing? <laughs> All right, Nick, I'll leave you to it. Let's talk to Fred Allen. <clears throat> Sorry to wake you. Well, not really. What's up, Fred? Oh man, someone new. You need some jet, man? Home brewed, reasonable prices? Uh, jet? What's jet? You don't know? It's the best. It just hypercharges everything. Like you got the speed of 10 men in one inhaler. Oh, that sounds pretty good. What other kinds of chems do you have? Well, you got your medicinal shit, Rad X and Rad Away for radiation sickness. Hey, do you think that's why they call it Radex? That's far out. Mentats are for the sciency types, you know, eggheads looking for a boost to solve big problems. Buff outs for the muscle men. Fuck, just try it all is what I say. Well, thanks for the info. You got any work for me, Fred? You have any work? Yeah, actually, you might be perfect. You know the gunners, right? The high-end mercenaries? Well. A few of them were talking about scavenging around that old hallucinogen building. I mean, just think about that name. There's got to be some shit there that's out of this world. You get me something, I pay you 200 caps. Mmm, gunners? You said there were gunners out there? The blackest hearted mercs around, friend. Well armed, organized. So, you know, make sure they don't catch you. Hallucigen? Anything more you can tell me about Hallucigen? Like I said, that name's killer. They probably made all kinds of chemicals worth grabbing. The gunners were willing to send a team in there, and those guys don't go after lame marks. All right, fine, I'll do it for you. All right, Fred, we have a deal. You're the best, the absolute best. Yeah, pretty much. Bring a Hallucigen canister to Fred Allen. So that's just a miscellaneous quest. Miscellaneous. Bring a hallucinogen canister to Fred Allen. Alright. Let's look at it on the map. Oh, I can't look at it on the map. I can look at this on the map. Here we go. Hallucinogen is... right here. Okay. Just kind of north of Vault 114. I'm surprised I haven't been to that area yet. Man, this place is big. Alright, now... Oh, Fred? Oh, well. Uh, I want Fred to leave this room so I could look at his terminal. Just for the heck of it. Now, if I look at it while he's asleep, is that bad? I'm going to see. Let's see. Okay. When in doubt, do it all. Top experiment. Try everything. The secret to being a great chem dealer? Personal experience, man. That's why I'm going to try everything. But chemistry is like science, you know? So we're going to log every hit I take. The better I can understand the high, the better I can sell that to the customers. 
I swear, sometimes I scare myself I'm so smart. Okay. Chem Diary. Jet. Oh man, Jet. That's why they call it Jet Man. Woo, I'm flying. Flying, baby. Mentats. Oh man, I feel like loquacious. I don't even know what that means, man. But it's like my brain is just putting it all together faster than I could even process it. Cool. Buff out. Experiment 1. Punch through a board. Results. Oh yeah, that was easy. Experiment 2. Punch through 10 boards. Results. I'm invincible. This is like some comic book level strength. Experiment 3. Punch through steel boards, man. Results. Typing with my left hand. Gotta cook some stim packs. Finally, Psycho. Had to get Rufus to rebuild this terminal. I was on the Psycho high and I was typing and I just... Man, it was like I couldn't not be angry. Just started punching the keys, man. Punching them. Punching and punching and... I think maybe I should lie down. Alright. It was fascinating. That was well worth it. Alright, well, this is uh, where Fred Allen hangs out. Are you still working on that, Nick? What the hell are you doing, man? Quit banging on their equipment. Whatever. Whatever, Nick. Are you coming? Yeah, maybe you are, maybe you're not. Alright, let's look around back here. Let's see, this is maybe the office, huh? What's this? A four, 145 round sitting on the table. Okay, that makes a lot of sense. Hey, you mind keeping an eye out for a second? You've got to run a diagnostic. Whew. Thanks. What'd I miss? What? Okay, whatever, dude. I don't know what you're talking about, but... Um, okay, so we just got a room here, an office, nothing terribly exciting or interesting. Let's go upstairs. Let's see, stim pack, rad X, just some chemicals sitting around. Oh wow, look at this. Holy, whoa, neat. Huh. So the elevator is uh, not working. All right, let's keep going up the steps then. Some weird steps. I can't say I've ever seen steps like this in a hotel. Elevator. Yep, that's the elevator, all right. Oh, look at this. Well, that room doesn't look very private. I think they would fix that. Jeez. What's up, Vault Tech rep? Hey. What? No. It can't. It... it, it. It's you! From Sanctuary Hills, right? Voltec? Wait, are you from Voltec? I am Voltec. Twenty years of loyal service, and now look at me. I wasn't on the list. But you, look at you. Two hundred years, and you're still perfect. How? How's that possible? Um, you don't know? You don't know? They didn't tell you? Tell me what? What is it? How did you get through these last 200 years untouched? Oh, wow. <laughs> the blood of my enemies. <laughs> so, uh, the way I'm playing this game is... I'm just being super honest with everybody. The vault had these pods that froze us in place. I only thought out recently. What? Voltec never told me that. Unbelievable. Well, I had to get to the future the hard way. Living through the filth, the decay, and the bloodshed. Look at me. I'm a ghoul. A freak. Um, yeah, I'm sorry, dude. I'm so sorry. I didn't know this would happen. You know, you're the only other person I met from... Other? Before. I, uh... I... Oh, God. I've been so alone here. No commonwealth settlement. Once a ghoul with 200 years of vault tech sales experience. Hmm. <laughs> Get lost. 
Where else? Where else what? Where else could you go? Diamond City bigots don't allow ghouls inside. It's just here or back at Sanctuary talking to that crazy robot of yours. Hey. Let's see if we can get him to go to Sanctuary. Hey, you know, you could head back to Sanctuary. I'll come visit. I promise. Really? You... You will? Valentine liked that. Okay. I'll head over there right now. You promise you'll come visit, right? I'll see you there. Hey. Okay. Let me ask you something. Sure thing, Nick. Something wrong? What's up? Is something wrong? Well, I... I sort of had the same question. It's just, uh, with everything that's happened with you and your, your family, it's a whole hell of a lot to process. I wanted to make sure you're holding up all right. Uh, why, dude? Why do you ask? I just had a hard go with the, uh, transition myself. Took me a long damn time to get a feel for this place. Thank goodness I found Diamond City. It's got its flaws, sure, but it beats the hell out of anywhere else in the Commonwealth. Of course, when I took up there back when, people were just as scared of the Institute as they are now. Maybe more. The massacre of the CPG was still pretty fresh in people's minds at that point. The folks were still losing sleep over the broken mask. Plenty of people assumed I was just a saboteur, moving in to melt down the reactor or poison the drinking water. But at the time, they couldn't exactly turn me away. What the hell's he talking about? Broken mask? CPG massacre? What, massacre? what is all this stuff? M massacre of the CPG? What's that? Commonwealth Provisional Government. Years back, a group of settlements tried to get together and form a coalition. Every settlement with even a hint of clout sent representatives to try and hash out an agreement. Only the Institute sent a representative of their own. A synth. The man killed every rep at the talks. Mm. The Commonwealth Provisional Government was over before it even got off the ground. I took up in town not long after. I was damn lucky they didn't just tell me to scram right then and there. Hmm. What's this about Broken Mask? Broken Mask? This was long before I'd moved to town, but apparently some gentleman type shows up in Diamond City, heads down to Power Noodles. Power Noodles? He didn't like the food because he pulled his pistol and opened fire on the folks enjoying theirs. Oh, okay, that place there. Security finally put enough holes in him to drop him. They say he was full of servos and sprockets. Just like yours truly. Seems he malfunctioned, went berserk. It was the first time people realized that synths had stopped looking like me and started looking like them. Considering what these folks went through, I felt real lucky they let me in the front gate at all. Yeah, they let you in, huh? Why'd they let you in? Because I'd rescued the mayor's daughter. Gal of about 15. Pride and joy of the mayor back then. Man by the name of Henry Roberts. The young Miss Roberts decided she'd run off with some caravan hand she'd uh, <clears throat> known for an evening. Turns out the guy was part of a gang of kidnappers. I didn't even know who I was rescuing, just stumbled on a crying girl and four toughs. I took her home and the mayor dubbed me a hero, offered me a place in town. Lots of folks protested, said I was a spy, but he wouldn't have it. Taking up in the city was tricky at first, but I never tried to hide what I was, and people seemed to warm to that. Hmm. You took down four guys? You took down four guys by yourself? Well, I didn't have to. Back then, synths were even more of an unknown quantity than they are today. I told them I was rigged to explode <laughs> and started going beep, beep, beep. Hardest part of that rescue was keeping from laughing as they climbed over each other to get away. <laughs> was it hard settling in? Well, they sure didn't make it easy. I started off doing the jobs no one else wanted. I got more banged up being Diamond City's handyman than I ever did living out in the ruins. But I guess folks never forgot I rescued the mayor's daughter, so they started coming to me when people went missing. Wife runs off with a new paramour and takes the rent money with her, talk to the synth. An upset father decides moving him and the kids to good neighbor in the dead of night's not the worst damn idea since the bomb. Go get Nick. After a while, the jobs got so backed up, 
They didn't even ask me to do the handyman stuff anymore. Hell, I was so happy to do it, it was months before I started charging anyone. I never stopped being Nick the Synth, but it was Nick the Detective folks came to see. It was about then that things, uh, well, things finally started feeling normal. It took me a long time to realize that home is where you make it. And with some time and effort, this place can be home for you, too. That's a long story, but I hope it helps. Want to get moving? Okay, nice talking to you, Nick. Let's see what uh, what's in this room. Well, <laughs> love the hole in the floor. Uh, just uh, just a hotel room. Nothing to get too terribly excited about. Here's another hotel room. Holes in the floor and the ceiling, or the ceiling, but in the walls. Stuff that um, I could steal. There's nobody watching me, but. You know. So I could sit on that chase. Where's my room? I think I'm on the top floor. The room that I rented. So, you know, just a bunch of hotel rooms. Oh hey Nick, make yourself comfortable. So I'm basically just looking through here to see if there is any cool stuff. Let's go on up to the next floor. Oh, there isn't a next floor. What the? Well, the elevator keeps going up. Huh. Well, how do I get up to the next floors? And where's my damn room? I rented a room. I thought she said it was up, uh, on the, uh, top floor on the left, but it says the bed is owned. So what the heck am I paying for? Hmm. Oh, okay. I guess it was on the right then. Come in, Nick. All right, slam the door in his face. I wonder how long I have to sleep to get my health back. Oh, I'm well rested. Nice. Okay, got my health back. How you doing, Nick? Hey, do something for you? Something up? Yeah. Well, how's our relationship? Just wanted to check in, see how you feel things are going between us. Well, traveling with you beats being held prisoner in some vault. That's for darn sure. So, yeah, I'd say we're fine. All right. Oh, he might have something else to say. How are we doing, Nick? Hard to say. You know, some folks are just out for themselves. Some want to help those in need. Jury's still out which camp you're in. Really? Your thoughts? Should we get a move on? Yeah, let's get a move on. That's all for now. Well, all right. Alright, well, I think this is pretty much everything in Hotel Rexford. So we could leave here and see what else there is to see here in Good Neighbor. But anyway, look. Look at that. Uh, yeah, there's more floors in this hotel, but uh, apparently there's no steps to get to those floors. So I don't know how to get to them. Your room is upstairs, uh -huh. top floor. I know. The last one on the right. Down okay. The long I don't know why I thought it was on the left, but uh, it was on the right. Ooh, look. Ooh, hotel registry password. Look, I can just help myself. But with all these people... Uh, great. With all these people standing around... Um, it's my favorite person. Got some premium shit here. Okay. Um, not interested. Not interested. Hey, no worries. Next time, huh? But yeah, with all these people walking around, there's no way I could use that terminal without being uh, noticed. Fred... Oh yeah, and hey, uh, Rufus. You find that brew machine yet? No. Or are you just here looking for scrap? No, I, dude, give me a, give me a minute. Whoa, about the job. I'll take a look. So about the job. What am I looking for again? Some sort of brewing machine at the Shamrock Tap House. I'm not sure what it looks like. All right. Yeah, sure. I'll take a look. I'll take a look. Let me show you what I got. Oh, that's that's not really what I meant. See you later. Bye. All right, back out into Good Neighbor, and let's see. I know there's at least one more building here we could take a look in, like the State House or something like that. And we might as well look in it while we're here. And then uh, I think there's some warehouses we're supposed to go into and do some kind of shady business. 